a person from the humans who would be born a human would come out he would be very furious on something and he would come out he would release himself out of uh, out of self imposed captivity or whatever you call um, loneliness or whatever you, you can call it. so he would come out and that would be the jal so the jal muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us would would be on earth on land for 40 days the first day of the jal would be yawmun kasana that first day would be like a year then yawmun ka jumua the second day would be like a week and uh, sorry the second day would be like a month yawmun ka shahar and the third day would be called yawmun ka jumua that the third day would be like a week so the jal would be on earth for 40 days but the first 3 days according to hadith when well, sahaba asked about the first 3 days that how will we offer our prayers our salat the nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam explained that you have to offer your salat according to the normal days not like five five prayers in the whole year no you would have to offer your salat like the normal days so it means that the days would be normal the time stamps would be normal the time cycles would be normal but muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam meant an era a longer era then a relatively shorter era and then even a smaller era so my understanding uh, to this matter is that the first era is a system that could be the system uh, that that the british empire imposed on the whole world at a colonial time and the second day would be capitalism that we are uh, living through and uh, and and uh, and we are passing from uh, moving from second day to the third day and the third day would be uh, this technological or artificial intelligence revolution that's happening around the world that you are being watched even in your beds the the computer systems know what you are doing what you are eating what you are what you want what your interests are what your past is what your future is and so on and so forth so the rest of the days would be uh, like the normal days so my point uh, of mentioning this hadith hadith over here is that when the jal comes uh, people might be going like we have to wait a year for the first day to end but practically i don't think it would be like that practically his days would be like the very normal days because the three days would have already passed three days of the jal are before imam al mahdi and the rest 37 days are after imam al mahdi so the jal appears after the seven years of imam al mahdi but he would 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 spend only 37 days on earth So in these 37 days he would he would fight Imam Al Mahdi he would fight the Muslims and he and he would he would spread corruption and destruction all over the world and during the seven days of Imam Al Mahdi like Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us the earth would would pop out its 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 crops the earth would make its its Uh, try years to pop out and Allah would let the sky and the and the clouds uh, shower all of the all of the rains and all of the water that they have so so the time of Imam al Mahdi is the time of huge success huge material progress and huge technological progress as well so when the jal appears there would be there would be technological climax under the leader of leadership of Imam al Mahdi but the jal would fight with the muslims and the warfare would be so heavy that everything built at that time would be destructed by the jal during the fight between the jal and Imam al Mahdi so the, that would happen within 37 days and on the 37th day or 38th day wallahu alam we would see isa alayhi salatu was salam descending from the sky and isa alayhi salatu was salam is promised that he would finish the fitna of the jal and the jal would be killed then the jal would be killed the people who would have taken 
the Jal as their God, and Thai Christ as their God, who would have accepted, and Thai Christ as their God, Nauzubillah min zalik, would then want to repent. But as it has been already told that at that time when the Jal appears, um, when the Jal appears, the door of repentance would be closed. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would refuse to accept the repentance of the people who had worshipped the Jal as their God. So Allah would let the Gog and Magog release. Gog and Magog would be released to punish the people who had accepted the Jal as their God. Naudu Billahi Min Zalik. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala make us among the followers of Imam Al Mahdi, make us among the followers of oneness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and may Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala uh, uh, make us avoid the fitna of the Jal and, and free us from uh, fitna of the Jal, uh, and, and make us prepare for that time. Uh, starting from now, inshallah.